Hello lovelies, this is Chloe, my fellow Tarot Lenormand and Oracle enthusiasts. Welcome, welcome. We are doing Ethne's uh, 31 Days of Tarot. And then, let's see, how long? One moment. A little dried out. We are covering day 22 because I tried doing 22 and 23 together and it keeps being way too long. So I'm going to do 22 and then I'm going to record 23 for y'all. Okay. All right. So here we go. Day 22 is Tarot and Oracle decks you use for only personal use. This isn't actually that long. It's the next one that's too long. We can find it just doesn't work. So, um, the long explanation, unfortunately, is the only way I can do this. I have some in storage that I can't show, so I can't kind of go through them. There's some tarot decks that I tend to use that are part of my older collection. Um, as I've mentioned a few times now, there was a period that I kind of went on a no more tarot hiatus. But in that collection, I have a Poppy Pollen tarot deck that I really love, which is on the, on the edge of going toward Oracle. It's labeled a tarot, but it really is almost, it's like an oracle-esque tarot, okay? And now with uh, Dreams of Gaia, you can probably understand what I mean by that. It has its own kind of feel, and there's some renamed kind of cards, and there was some other stuff going on. That one I, t I used to read for others, but now I just tend to reuse it for myself. Um, Poppy Pollen is actually coming out with a new one called Everyday Enchantment Tarot that I'm really looking forward to. Just found out about it shortly, a, a little bit ago. The two decks that I have with me today that I do tend to use for myself are the Heart of the Fairy Oracle, and I'm showing this one, but I also also use mostly for my just for myself um, the original Fairy Oracle Brian Froud put out as well. Now with the original, it's partially due to the light fairies in that one that have more of a deity aspect to it. Um, uh, if I pill pulled or called or empathically inclined, I will read these decks for other people, but most of the time I just don't. <laughs> and part of it is that those light fae in that other deck and the fairy oracle and part of it in, in the heart of the fairy one is that there is a bit of a structure in this one that I want to have down a little bit better I'd still read it empathically still reading it intuitively and if I really get called I will pull this baby out but um, not so much I mostly just use it for myself um, and they are gorgeous cards as we all know uh, so yeah, those are that. And then the other deck I have that I have, I haven't pulled this deck out in ages and ages. And it, it, if you know the Sacred Circle Tarot and the Fairy Ring Oracle, this is her other deck. It's called the Celtic Animal Oracle, and it came in one of those boxes types with the lid on the top that completely unhit, comes off, and it has like a color guidebook or manual. I don't have it right in front of me, but um, the cardstock isn't great, and I would, and you know, I don't really like white borders. But if I trim it, this is going to look really off-centered and just not great at all. What I have done though is I curved the corners because it was really sharp, just right-angled corners, and I thought over time that it would, if I keep using this deck, it was going to wear out or start splitting or something. It has that kind of cardstock. And at the time, I bought this deck over 10 years ago, and there were very few um, Celtic-inclined oracle decks that had a few of the cards that are in this one. And this has cards in it that the Druid Animal Oracle doesn't. And the um, meanings are slightly different uh, in this one. And I tend to mesh them, like I said. So one of the cards that the other one doesn't have is... This chicken is the cock. <laughs> cock. <laughs> Love having reason to say that name for not naughty reasons. <laughs> uh, and then it has some characters like, you know, 
frog and some others that are in the other deck. Lizard is another one that isn't in the other deck, but I feel like Lizard's energy is very similar to Dragon's energy that you would find in the Druid Animal Oracle. And I love this badger. I really love this badger. It's such... It, this one feels like they took a real picture of a bat badger and then did a layering of some local shrines maybe nearby where she lives or some other areas and then there's this um digitally drawn celtic knotwork surrounding it and this one has two quarter corners where it's like ferns or something coming over and then the direction that the the um badger is facing it has some more and then yeah as you can see there's different border things going on. So if it wasn't for the backs of these, I totally have these trimmed. Anyways, I really like using this deck for myself. I enjoy animal oracles. Spider is another one I had a hard time finding at the time 10 years ago on um, in decks, especially Celtic ones. And then I love the raven in this deck. It, it looks so real that this is like a photo of a raven. And then the tones on the feathers over here, it's like purple and a little bit of blue or green. I just love the tones that you see in this one. So yeah, I like this deck. Oh, and here's now this is one of the otter ones. I think I don't think this rabbit looks very natural. And it's one of the few I really don't like in this deck. It reminds me of the fairy ring. There's a couple of the odd uh, pixies and elves in there that it just looks a little bit odd. And I think this is a digitally adapted animal. And then the last card that I isn't in the other deck is the butterfly. And I really like this one. I like the what she's done with the borders and everything. Again, I'm very tempted to just cut this down to the picture and even cut off the word. Because it's just the animals. It's not even in Celtic, so I don't have to worry about that. Again, hesitation is the backs. So yeah, you might be able to find this. It was a Barnes & Noble. Uh, I think the publisher goes through them too. I'm not sure. Maybe a Cinco publisher. I don't know. But I've had it for a long time, and I only use this one for myself. So yeah, Drew, the fa Brian Froud's Fairy Oracles, mostly just for myself. Um, again, I have, when I get new decks, I kind of like to try them almost right away with other people. If I fail. But if I open the deck and I'm like, ooh, okay, I'm not really sure what this card or this. If there's more cards that I feel that I'm not picking up really fast or right away, then I will hesitate. And I tend to use this with private decks for a while. And then I go in and read them for other people. Um, and then some of the ones that I've kind of phased out. So, yeah, that's what I do. All right. I hope you like the look into those. And, yeah, I'm going to move on to... This was day 22, um, and then I'm going to move on to day 23 in the next video. Okay, hope you all have a good day. See you soon.